First tonight, they were the 11-year-old best friends who went out to play from their homes on Merseyside and they never came back. No one has been convicted of the murders of John Greenwood and Gary Miller nearly 40 years ago. Police have admitted their initial inquiry was not as thorough as it could have been. A recent attempt to reinvestigate stalled because of so-called double jeopardy laws. Yeah, and there are calls tonight, including from the police, for changes to that legislation. Mal Barham has our top story. That's my favourite photo of John there, with the big smile. For almost four decades, the murder of John Greenwood and Gary Miller have remained unsolved. The 11-year-old friends were beaten and buried alive on a rubbish tip in Whiston back in August 1980. In 2017, after some new evidence emerged, hopes of progress in the investigation were raised. But a year ago, police were denied permission to talk to one person they want to. And that's because he's the original suspect who's already been tried and acquitted. He's denied involvement. This crazy, crazy 800-year-old medieval law means they're not allowed to question him, even as a witness. So we're not saying this person's guilty, drag them back to court. All we are asking is that the police are allowed to do their jobs. If they feel they need to speak to someone in a double child murder case, they should be allowed to speak to them. Current double jeopardy laws mean police need to get permission from the Director of Public Prosecutions to speak to this man. And new evidence has to be deemed compelling enough. In this case, it wasn't. So the DPP refused to authorise it last year, although acknowledging it was a tragic case. Now Merseyside Police, in a rare move, are calling for a change in the law. We know it has to be carefully considered. We know the reinvestigation of somebody who has been acquitted at court is really important. We must obviously take into account a court's decision. But when we have further information and evidence where we feel, with good reason and good grounds, there is a case to interview somebody which could support the fact that there may well now be further compelling evidence to be considered, we would very, very much welcome a consideration and a change to the existing legislation. I think the law it works. Um, the issue is whether or not the police have been able to gather um, sufficiently compelling evidence and clearly uh, the Director of Public Prosecutions having been consulted about this is of the view that that's not the case right now and uh, that must be ex exceptionally frustrating uh, for the family but there is a reason for the threshold. Police have apologised for failings in their original investigation. Now John's sister has started an online petition to change the law she feels is outdated. All we want to say is the right person found guilty, whoever that may be. But if this obstacle is in the way of the police investigation, then it needs to be removed. This law is in place to prevent possible harassment of a suspect. But we are going through real pain, real pain, and there's no law in place to help us. Please stress this investigation is still open and are appealing for any new information. John's sister says she'll never give up trying to get justice. Mel Barham, ITV News, Whiston. Well, next night, the